All right, hello, Nick and Tesla fans. I am Science Bob, co-author of Nick and Tesla's High Voltage Danger Lab. All right, now in chapter four, Nick and Tesla have to build some kind of device to distract some mean dogs. So how do they do it? Well, they use a little bit of Diet Coke, some Mentos, some ballpoint pen, some cardboard, and some wire clothes hangers, of course. Now, you can follow along with all of the directions right here on page 70, but I'll show you a little bit about how it all goes together. In order to make your very own Diet Coke and Mentos power vehicle, you're gonna need, well, of course, some Diet Coke, a wire coat hanger, a couple of ballpoint pens, uh, wire clippers, some needle nose pliers, some skizzers, I say skizzers because I can't pronounce scissors, a hot glue gun, a paper clip, a book clip, some Mentos candies, a soup can, some safety goggles, some regular paper, and some cardboard. All right, once you got all that gathered, it's time to put it all together. All right, to begin, we want to set up our kind of wheel and axle assembly. To do that, you're gonna need two of the ballpoint pens. Pop the tops off, and to remove the ink cartridges, just grab your pliers and pull them right out. Now, these are a little bit more tricky, and I'll show you a little tip on how to do that. Next, get your wire coat hanger. All right, so if you'll notice, every wire hanger has this long straight edge, and that's the one that we're interested in. So go ahead, put your safety goggles on, and get your wire clippers out. We're gonna cut this into two separate sections. So one cut here, one cut right about in the middle, and one cut at the very end here. All right, gather your pieces. These are our axles. So next you are gonna take your piece of cardboard, which you can just get from a box or something you get in the mail, and your soup can, and you're gonna trace around the soup can to make four wheels. Okay, once you've got your circles traced, it's time to cut them out. So now you have got all of your wheels cut out, but you have to find the center point of each wheel in order for it to roll the smoothest. To do that, I have a little trick. Go ahead and get that stoop can one more time and trace another circle, this time on regular paper. Now, go ahead and cut out that circle. Once you have that circle cut out, go ahead and fold it in half once, and then fold it in half again. It should look a little bit like a piece of pizza. Now, when you unfold that, you have your center point, where those two folds cross is the exact middle of that circle. Go ahead and put that on your wheel so it lines up perfectly, and then use your pen to poke a little hole into the wheel. That is your new center point. Go ahead and repeat it for all three other wheels. All right, good news, your wheels are all done. Now it's time for the axle. And for the axle, you go back to that piece of metal hanger that you cut before. Go ahead and take your needle nose pliers and bend a 90 degree turn in it about two centimeters from the end of the wire. And it'll look about like that when you're done. Then take one of your wheels, poke it through that center hole you made, Go all the way to the top, and now we're gonna use some hot glue to secure that wire to the wheel. All right, now we've got one wheel, and it's time to go back to that ballpoint pen. We need to knock this little end out. So to do that, you can take the ballpoint pen and push it right through with the axle. Now, go ahead and take a second wheel, push it through, and bend this wire 90 degrees, like you did the first one. And now, it's time to glue that wheel into place. That's that little bit of glue. And you're gonna wanna make sure that these line up nice and evenly. When it's all dry, it will spin, and you've got yourself a set of wheels. Do that again for the second set. All right, go ahead and make sure that your bottle is capped and turn it on its side. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually glue gun the wheels onto the soda bottle. So grab your glue gun, go somewhere near the front here, and glue it on with plenty of glue. Now go ahead and glue the back wheel in place. All right, now give that a moment to dry, and we're almost ready to get this guy rolling. 
Okay, so with our Diet Coke Mentos vehicle all set, now we have to build the propulsion system. In this case, delicious Mentos candies. Mm. All right, here's what you need to do. Take a push pin and carefully poke a hole through the middle of five Mentos. Like that. Now I've already done mine ahead of time, so they're all set to go. Then, unbend your paper clip like this and fish the Mentos through one at a time. When you're all done, it'll look like this. Go ahead and bend that little part over so that when you turn them upside down, they won't fall off. It's like a little mento shish kebab. Now, they're ready to load into the box. There is one more step. We need to drill a hole into the cap of the soda bottle. So simply take the cap off, ask a friendly adult to drill a quarter inch hole into that cap, and then grab that, your book clip, and your safety goggles, because it's time to go outside. All right, so here we are outside ready to go. Now we have got our paper clip with our five Mentos on it. We have got our cap with the hole drilled in it and we have our book clip. So first, take the Mentos and put the paper clip up through the hole in the cap. Then secure that with the book clip. Once that's all set, you're ready to secure the lid onto the soda bottle. All right, screw that on nice and securely, making sure that none of those Mentos get wet. Now when it's time to launch, two things to keep in mind. First, the reaction is gonna go very fast. And second, the top of the bottle is the back of your rocket. So make sure it's going the right way. Here we go. In three, two, one. All right, now it's your turn. Go out and try this soda and Mentos powered vehicle. And if you do, remember to take some pictures or some video and submit them right here on the website. There's a link somewhere. You'll find it. Anyway, for Nick and Tesla.com, I'm Science Bob.